Hello you guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today for me is Saturday and for you guys I think this is Tuesday when this is going to go up if I can get back on my normal schedule. So it's been almost a week since I posted a video for you all and um, I just needed some time off. You guys know we've been working like dogs in this kitchen and then we went on a very short vacation that was a lot of drama. I came home not feeling good. I just needed some time to relax. So this week that's exactly what I did. That's what we all did. So today's Saturday and I'm ready to get back at this kitchen. I am ready to get some things checked off this list. It has been too long. What is today? August 1st. August 1st we started this July 5th. So I'm ready. So ready to have this done. So a little update on the windows. Um, we still don't know when we're getting our windows. Our contractor actually um, called us I think it was the morning, it might have been the morning we left for the beach or the day, I don't know. No, it was a couple days before then. We went to check on the window and because he had some other windows to order and they basically said that they never ordered them. <laughs> so, uh, whatever. They had, so he, they went ahead and ordered them but it's going to be a while. So, because they have to make them and then they have to get them, get them back in. They don't order them that day. They have to wait till like a Tuesday to order them was what they told him but then this was like on Thursday and they said no we'll go ahead and order them today and he said well last time you told me you had to wait till the next Tuesday and they're like oh well, we didn't know you wanted us to order them and basically he was like they were lying and I just let it go so okay so they're not um they weren't ordered and I really don't know when they're coming in so I just don't know when they're coming when they come when he calls me that's when I'm getting my windows but you know what I'm not gonna like wait the only thing we really have to wait to do is the backsplash and of course that's what i really want to get done because you can see you know having a backsplash would really finish it off but so marion talked about he could maybe do like part of it over here but then we obviously can't do any of this until we get the window in because we need to know exactly how high to make it and all that so so i am going to plan on this weekend finishing my bricks because um as you saw in my last kitchen renovation video I did make the bricks but I never did um, put the primer on them and I obviously didn't paint them and so those several steps have to still be done so I'm going to work on that this weekend and hopefully Marion is going to get our kick plates in this weekend that's the plan and also he's going to take these doors off so I can paint this corner piece um, what else was I going to do this weekend I want to try to get all my trim painted um, fresh coat of white and then all the bricks done when I get that all finished. So those are huge things checked off the list. And if we have time and feel like it, we could also finish the trim on the top. But that's just all going to depend on how much time we have and how much we want to, you know, a lot to this kitchen this weekend. So thought that I would vlog it because I know you guys have been asking for another kitchen renovation vlog. And I'm hot. I need to pull my hair up. It's a hot day. It's a muggy, muggy like very muggy humid weekend it's supposed to we're supposed to get that tropical storm hurricane what is it hurricane um today it's actually hitting my family in the bahamas but i talked to them last night and they said it was going to be a two when it hit and that they were they're they're good so i'll have to check i haven't checked in with them today but i think that they at least on their island are good i know that their property is very well secure and they should be fine so but anyways, there's a lot of people in the path of it that I am definitely praying for. And then it is supposed to make its way up to us. We're supposed to have like some rain and thunderstorms Monday, Tuesday. So it just feels like muggy outside. So anyway, I'm not going to be outside. I'm going to be inside working. So. so if you saw when we went to Ikea, I picked up this to go in my, um, in my cabinet down there. So, whoa, who am I stepping on? <laughs> Madison. So, um... Marion's gonna put those in for me today and that'll be nice because everything's just set in here and yeah, some of you suggested I get those and I've never used them before but I'm excited that's gonna be nice
so there it is in there. I just um, put like the stuff that I don't use as often on the sides and then these we use all the time so I can get to them easy. I actually really love them. It's gonna make the much better use of this tiny little narrow cabinet that isn't really convenient for anything, but I like it. So those of you that suggested it, thank you. And then also over here, I put these bins that I picked up at um, at home this past weekend and they fit perfectly three of them fit perfectly in here so I still need to get something to go on here to just to protect this from water but I really like how much more organized it is now these are all my candles and wax mounts which I probably should find a better place to store them but that's just where I store them and then all the rest the cleaners and I did have a sweet subscriber send me a little care package. I'll be sending you a thank you note, but these little scrubbies came in. They're so cute. Um, and some towels and stuff. That was very sweet. But just wanted to show you that. And also I'll show you my rug that I picked up. I actually already had to wash it once, but um, I need to get one of those things that go underneath it to keep it from sliding around. But I really think it's pretty. So right now I'm going to go ahead and put a coat of kills primer on the brick wall and then I'm gonna let that sit for two hours and then I'll come back and finish them I really want to get this um, brick wall finished today so this is just the kills latex to multi-surface stain blocker some BLTs now Kristen Casper made some and just made me want some on one of her latest videos so I got regular bacon from Marion he doesn't like turkey bacon but that's what we eat and I got some of this if you've ever had it it is so good I'm always looking for a good sourdough bread this is so good so I'm gonna just make those real quick and then it will be time to put my second coat I mean not my second coat then it will be time to actually paint the gray on the bricks
right, it's been two hours since I did the primer on the bricks. So I'm gonna start to paint the bricks. And before when I did them, I, I'll, I'll link the video down below where I did a tutorial, but I mixed, I had like three different shades of gray, like light to dark, and I can't find, we have like a huge basket full of paints and I cannot find gray. Well, I did find one gray, that's not true. This pewter gray. And then I think I'm just gonna take some black and white and like make another shade. And this time, you know, everything's gonna get a whitewash anyways, so it doesn't have to necessarily be dark. So I'm gonna try to attempt to match what I have over here, over here, and then um, when it's all dry, then I'll do a whitewash over everything. So I'm just gonna take, I just use a little craft paint. This is pewter gray and then black and white, and I'm gonna mix them together on a paper plate. And then I have this, it's green, but it's not, there's no green on it, but it's just stained. So, but it's like a little angled brush. It'll help me get the edges of the bricks. And I'm just gonna paint them. I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind. There's coating, or the first one, the gray. So it looks like I kind of used a little bit of a, I don't know, like a way lighter gray. So I'm gonna try to make it something that's, um, mix some white into actually what I already have here and see if I can sort of match that color. Okay, so it's not a perfect match from what I did before, but I'm hoping once I whitewash it like that, it's gonna cover up a lot of where it's different. You know, it's gonna give it all a uniform look. So that is how it looks now, now. And um, it's gonna look so much better when it's all white. I don't like it like this, but this is just the next step. So I'm gonna let these dry probably for like an hour. This craft paint does not take long to dry at all but I want to make sure it's nice and dry before I go over it with white. I watch you as you dry Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would, cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever, 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 forever I watch you as you sleep, you don't know I'm looking With you everything's complete Put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment 
take these doors off now so that when I paint with my white, I can paint this. If you missed it, our, our carpenter guy just built that for me. You can buy those pieces, but he just built that along with this one over here, and I painted it a few coats of white, so that way when I paint later, I can get all the white. Well, those come off really simple. I could have probably done that. Okay, so it's been a little while, and it is, I wanted to make sure all that black was dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint that and this little part. And if I feel like it tonight, I'll the trim. If not, I'll do the trim tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm just using this Walmart Color Place interior um, semi-gloss white ready to use, so. I lose my breath whenever I see you You stole my heart, what is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the others You said my World of fire You're my heart's desire I just wanna love you Just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you Till we grow old Please tell me you'll stay Or take me away I want you for myself Every single day You said my world of Okay, so I still need to do the top. Uh, I started doing this side. I just got to go down to the very bottom, but I'm going to have to get the chair to do the top. But you can see that these are a lot lighter than this because this only has one coat of white. This has several coats from when I did it before. So after it all dries, I'll just have to come back and do, you know, like all along there and then those. But I like the whitewashed brick look. I'm not going to paint the trim tonight, only because it's getting late. It's like after 8 o'clock. But Marion is working on the kick plate. He did that one down there. And yeah. So tomorrow I'm going to finish painting. So I guess I'll catch back up with you tomorrow. Look how nice that looks. So obviously we're putting the kick plates on. Marion's putting them on. And there's a few spots like right here in the corner where it didn't, there was nothing because there's this big gap. So you just got a two by four and cut it, you know, stuck it all the way to the wall and then that way he'll have something to nail it to so when we kick it, you know, it won't break. I need to actually put some, what are those called, wedges? Shims next to it so it's nice and tight to nail the um, board to. And I'm gonna show you over here because our floor was slanted. You can see how you, you have a gap at the top but if you put them towards the bottom, you don't see that gap when you stand up. You, uh, you can, I can see it from like the back door just a tiny bit, but um, you just put, a, put it down to the bottom and then it's fine. So these are the nails that Marion's using. Finishing, um, 
finishing nails, and then he bought this little drill bit. What is this? A one and one sixteenth? Yeah. One and one sixteenth. And that's how he's securing them. Worst possible angle for me to have to hammer. So Marion cut that piece. He was gonna put it over there, but then it doesn't really match up e evenly, so he's just gonna rip that whole piece out for me, for me, <laughs> and then put a new one piece so it looks a lot better. Look at this fancy wallpaper. Isn't that funny? I don't know if it was 60s or 70s, but that's really funny. So I got, last night, I, um, or this morning actually, I painted this part again because it was a little darker than the others so that it could dry and he could put these shelves up. So um, you might remember we just, I just cut a, had Marion cut a piece of board and I stained it and then I bought these just like 97 cent brackets from Walmart and painted them, oil rubbed bronze, spray painted them. So they're gonna go up here and then I'm gonna actually decorate those. We're not, um, we still have room over here for the window so we know how far it's gonna be. And the goal was to make it like the same amount here before the window frame on both sides. So like the, you know, shelves are gonna come to the same width on both sides so that it looks even. All right, so I changed my mind. I'm actually only gonna put two shelves up here. I've been thinking three the whole time, but it's they're not gonna be enough room to put stuff, probably. And I like these baskets that I had on my island and I kinda wanted to set them on the shelves so we have to have them, yeah, further apart. So I think we're just gonna go with two shelves. Obviously, it is Sunday the next day, and we've been working on several things. Well, I should say Marion really has been working on several things. He's the best. He um, knocked out the few things I wanted him to get done today, so he did get my shelves up. We decided on just two instead of three. They just would have been probably too close together. I don't know. They're so high. I feel like they're really high, but um, because the backsplash is going to come to the bottom of this cabinet, we had to have them go we had to have the first shelf start right there so they couldn't have been any lower anyways but I just set those baskets there for now because um, I don't know I thought about putting them up there but I also want to put some decor so I'm not really sure I might style those shelves today but um, that's what they look like now and I really love them it's neat to see my vision you know coming to life we obviously did the kick plates and he's just got he used some wood glue down there and so he's just holding that on there really tight then I'm gonna come back in and caulk it at the end and then I'm gonna probably right now um, finish painting the bricks and do all the trim and then that is it for this weekend <laughs> that's all the kitchen stuff we're doing this weekend but we are definitely checking things off the list we do not have that much more I'll show you this I had this in my laundry room before I got it at Michaels and it's hard to see it says wash dry fold repeat and I, I paint it was like bright blue and I painted it white and then I 
put like some brown on it but I don't like the brown so I'm gonna just repaint this as well and this is gonna be hanging back in my laundry room and then you've probably seen as I was filming um, how I styled my shelves in here but I want to show you um, that in a minute I'll show you how how I decorated them because that's to me is the fun part and I want to share that with you painted I didn't paint around the window because I don't know what is actually going to be replaced on that window I might take that trim off and put a two uh, one by four around it like we're gonna do over here in the kitchen so I didn't worry about doing any of that yet but I did do all the rest all these doorways all the doorways in here baseboards and then sorry I don't want to make you dizzy this whole um, doorway too and baseboards I'm glad to have that checked off my list because I've been dreading doing that but the rest of my house has suffered <laughs> it is a disaster I'll show you my dining room because I have well I'll show you I have like all this decor that's still sitting here that I was gonna some of it's gonna go in my kitchen after the base after the 
what's it called backsplash is up so but some of this needs to go downstairs this is all the trim that's going to go above the um at the top this is all my painting stuff and yeah so there's my island still <laughs> i'm going to try and make some sense of this dining room because this is stressing me out off of the white shelves and I'm gonna clean them really good because I don't know if I ever cleaned them whenever after the guy came and all the dust and it doesn't look like I did so I'm gonna like rearrange that stuff on those two shelves but before I do any of that I'm gonna eat dinner I just made some salad Mary and I are gonna have those the kids are all eating their own stuff so after I eat then I will decorate um, put a few things on the little new, new little shelves and then I'll show you all the uh, shelves in the kitchen and then however I style these because these I mean they're basically gonna be close to the way they were but I have a few things I want to you know just mix it up a little bit so I'm gonna eat and then I'll show you that Okay, so I just did a little decorating and I'm going to just show you what, how I did these shelves and everything. And then I'm actually taking down my July 4th summer decor because, you know, everything got so dusty when the guy was here building and everything. And so I just had already taken like half of it down. So I figured I'll just take the rest of it down and then just give everything like a really good cleaning because um, my living room really needs that. I really need to shampoo my rug still and i need to just like wipe everything down you know i've got like that i've got some decor over there and then i'm just going to well some of this stuff is still going to be put up in my kitchen once my backsplash is up so i have a pile of things that i will still be putting up but for now they're gonna to have to wait so i do get a lot of questions about these little shelves or different things on the shelves so what i put um on it now it just says this farm fresh egg sign i just made that years ago with stencils and a piece of wood um then i got this little thing i, th I think i got that at hobby lobby with some greenery and then the little egg basket was at hobby lobby and then those are just like easter eggs that i got one one year at easter then those are from hobby lobby too those um candlesticks and i think i got the little star at like christmas tree shop this is a little um like flower pot that I got at at home in my haul that I just showed and I think I got that at AC Moore 
Hobby Lobby. This was just a little sign. I turned it upside down and put some little milk bottles from the Dollar Tree. That's from Hobby Lobby and then that is from Goodwill and I just like painted it and wrote, uh, you know, just made it look like it was, any, uh, what is it called? Enamel. Enamel. <laughs> and then just put a little uh, bunch of greenery in it and that's just my little dining room decor for now. I just like to change them up every now and then. I like a little pop of blue in it. And obviously this is what I did in here. For now I'm just going to leave that basket right there. I actually like, I have two baskets and I like the way they look on here but I haven't decided what I would store in them yet. So for now this is what it's going to be. I just got this, um, actually got this at Goodwill for like a dollar but it came from Hobby Lobby originally. I just put some greenery and of course this little box that I got at, at home that I showed in my haul. And this is interesting. It was, actually we found this in the like under the cabinets or something when we pulled them out um, when we were redoing the kitchen so I was like that's something I'll say but I don't know how old it is maybe it got put in there when the house was built but I thought that'd be kind of fun to keep that and store that up there so that's those little shelves for now and it will look so much nicer when the windows in the trim I put a little plant right there <laughs> um, that's how that looks for now and then up here I put my fresh baked pie sign Got that a couple years ago, I forget, Target or something. And then a couple little cookbooks right here. And then my oatmeal jar up here, because I didn't really have anywhere for it. So I like it up there. And then this old um, watering can came from Goodwill and I just put some greenery in it. And I really love that little space up there. I do want to put a piece of wood or something right here. Let me scoot back, I think I've zoomed in too far. I'll put a little piece of wood there to tr uh, finish that off and make it more even and maybe something on top too I'm not sure it's just a work in progress then of course over here I'll show you what I did over here I put my sign up there give us this day our daily bread that came from Hobby Lobby that little picture was from uh, home goods with some greenery some little birds a friend gave me this little thing is from Hobby Lobby and then this is from Target and then the same friend gave me that too I think it's so cute and then I just put my cookie jar up here and my little cow that came from Hobby Lobby and this is just a little basket and I threw this um, black and white wash rag in it I think it's cute and then I love this I got that at um, home goods I think <laughs> and I, I love it I wanted it in here on my shelves that was why I bought it and then I have a little wreath that I just made from Dollar Tree but that is how that looks and I think they're so cute I'm sure I'll be changing these up often just because these are the kinds of things you like to change with holidays and stuff but that is what it looks like for now so here's the view of that whole side i love how that turned out over there it's one of my favorite parts of the kitchen i do still need to figure out what's going to go up on the top of my refrigerator and i do need to probably get a magic eraser and clean these um what do they call it handles <laughs> The rest of my kitchen's a disaster right now, but because I was painting and putting the shelves, so I'm going to move everything back over, and I'll just give you a final look when everything is cleaned up. So over here in the laundry room, I just, um, I didn't really change these baskets up. I may eventually. I bought these a couple years ago when I did my shiplap wall in here, and I don't know if I like them. We'll see. <laughs> For now, I'm going to keep them. That's just paper towels and then, like, dryer sheets, bleach, stuff like that. And then that's actually where we store our cereal. We just needed more room than we had in the pantry. And then of course that's my soap. And then I still need to put, I just now realized, I still need to put that line there when we moved the shelf up. I forgot to paint that. But there's that, I like it over there. And um, it's not, you can still see some of the brown, but it's okay, it kind of looks a little bit aged. But I like that there and I'm gonna really love when I get a new window this just gonna really finish this space out but there's a look at the laundry room I know the lighting is bad video now thank you guys so much for watching and for coming along on this journey we are nearing the end we can see the finish line and I am so excited just waiting on my window my backsplash we have to put trim around the ceiling I do need to eventually do my ceiling um, but pretty much things are getting done so that's exciting and we are almost a month into it so if we didn't have the delay with the windows we probably 
probably could be done by now or yeah we'd probably be done but it's okay i'll let you guys know when the window comes in i'll show you what it looks like i wanted to also show you this beautiful bread box you might have seen in the corner one of my super sweet subscribers uh sent me that she said that she just felt like she needed to send me that and it was so beautiful and of course i love it i've seen them in many many people's homes and it's just beautiful and it's so big and i can put so many things in there i've tried to think of what I want to put in there but so many ideas so anyway you know who you are thank you so much I love it it's beautiful and it's so pretty right there perfect spot in my corner so anyway thank you guys again make sure to give this video a thumbs up it really helps out my channel and if you haven't subscribed just click the subscribe button it's free to free to subscribe and it really does help me out and you won't miss out on any of my videos so I will see you guys in my next one bye